Guys, this is how to never forget the heart blocks. Just remember this rhyme. Let me explain. If the R is far from P, then you have a first degree. Remember that the PR interval is usually less than 0.2 seconds, which is equivalent to one big square or five small squares. If it's consistently prolonged, then you got first degree heart block. Longer, longer, longer drop. Then you have a Venkabok. This is one of two types of second degree heart block, also known as Mobitz 1. Notice that PR interval gets gradually longer and longer until a QRS is dropped. Next up, if the P's don't get through, then you have a Mobitz 2. This time you have a normal PR interval and then suddenly the QRS drops. So remember, if it gradually lengthens like the image below, that's a Mobitz 1. But if the PR is fixed at a normal length and then randomly drops one, that's a Mobitz 2. If the P's and Q's don't agree, then you have a third degree. The P waves of atrial depolarization are equally spaced and faster than the QRS complexes of ventricular depolarization. They're beating independently of each other, which we call mechanical dissociation. This rhyme is super high yield for your medical exams. And if you want to study medicine smarter, like and follow for more.